fabulous fiber friends welcome to my youtube channel my name is karen and i am your host i just want to wish everyone a very very happy thanksgiving and i know we are all grateful for our family and friends and our fiber community and our our fiber oh my gosh you guys right we're so in love with our fiber i am not getting much knitting done these days the knitting that i have accomplished uh, over the past couple of weeks is and some of you saw this on Instagram I made a linen stitch cowl for the Christy Glass Gregory Stitch flash mob Christmas dance or Christmas dance flash mob I guess it will be called so there is my there is my cowl and this I will be donating. Christy asked us to bring something to donate, so I will be donating this after the flash dance. Then, I also have two hats that I actually made last year. I don't, Some of you may remember. I made Christmas hats last year. I didn't follow a pattern. You can go on my Ravelry page, projects page, and I just took um, Cascade 220 and I actually have a bunch up here and I just had you know red green and white and just played with the colors um, so you can check that out and I made two of them one for my husband one for myself which we wore last Christmas to a friend's dinner so that's those I will wear one of these for the Flash, dance, flash mob dance and then I will donate both of these. Do you think someone would want Christmas hats that are so Christmassy? Maybe. They're warm so I will donate those as well. And lastly, or I think lastly, uh oh I'm getting glitter all over. I made, I took an old red sweater that I knit so I decided I would use this sweater and decorate it a little bit for the flash mob dance. So that is what I've done. The Christmas tree. So I just top stitched and then I took, uh, I made a, a, um, uh, a candy cane, a, a, an I-cord candy cane and then I took a piece of wire that we had in the garage and I ran it through the center of it just to bend it a little bit. And then I took glitter and, you know, just glitterized, glitteratied my sweater. And that is for the event. And what else do I have to show you? Um, here is my pro progress. So I'm, I've moved on to a sleeve. And I'm just about to do the, there's another uh, color work portion here. So the sleeve has three bands of color work and the body has two. But I'm happy with how this is turning out so far. I love the vivid colors, two of my favorite colors, right? You guys know I love teals and blues, <clears throat> dark blues. And then I, of course, love fuchsia and hot pink. So that is where I'm at on that. And... I have, oh, I have been asked, so I think in the new year I'm going to try to do better at it. I have been asked that because I always put in a faux pearl stitch to make, well, not a faux, I always include a pearl stitch along the seams of knitting the round garments to simulate a faux seam. I feel like the garment hangs better on the body, gives it a little more structure instead of looking tubular. So I always include that. Where I picked that up, I have no clue. But um, I have been asked, for those who are new or new-ish to knitting and knitting in the round and knitting sweaters, and that I should do a tutorial on how I do it. I'm sure there are many tutorials out there, but I will, I'm happy to do that for you guys. So come January or, at, or my next knit in the round project. It's too late now for the Missoni accomplished because I'm already beyond that point <clears throat> uh, because the body is finished and even though I show you guys and tell you what I do I think it is good if I'm 
clearer and, and demonstrate exactly how that's done. So my next garment I will record exactly how I do that. Um, and so I hate to make promises because we know how sometimes life gets busy and then we don't get around to the tutorials we want to do, but I will try my best in January to start doing a better job at um, recording some of those little techniques. I think you guys, oh, whenever I talk about, I do the slip stitch crochet around my edges, which I've already done actually on the hem here. I've already slip stitch crocheted. I do have a tutorial on how I do slip stitch crochet, but I will remember, I'll try to remember to do them maybe per garment and maybe that'll be easier for you guys, I hope, if you have any questions. I'm always happy to answer any questions, so please feel free to ask questions. Um, but since I was able to try this on as I went, I thought, oh, I'm just going to, you know, I'll just do my slip stitch crochet around the hemline, and that's one less thing to think about. And I think <clears throat> I'm taking some leftover uh, skein cocaine. I'm using a lot of leftovers from my Soldatna crop, um, from the skein cocaine yarn, and I have enough to make a hat. So I promised my nephew and his girlfriend, they live in a cold climate, and I told them that I have a lot of, I'm always making hats, I love hats. Hats are my palate cleanser, and cowls too, I guess, but uh, I thought I would make him, my nephew and his girlfriend, a bunch of hats. So let me get closer, I'll just show you what I'm doing here. My yarn. So I'm just pulling out of a fair aisle dictionary that I have. I'm just pulling a few fair aisle uh, stitch patterns out of a stitch dictionary and just sort of winging it. I, I'm making it very easy on myself. And so now I'm just working, you know, one row one color, one row another. And then I will, I don't know, probably do a very fast bind off like two together, two together, two together, two together, all the way around, and maybe do that. So, you guys, for all you crocheters out there, my friend Claudia of Crochet Luna released her first shawl pattern called the El Encanto. Oh, wait, no. Encanto, not El Encanto, Encanto. And I think that means enchanted in Spanish. And I am going to make this shawl. There is the shawl. So I'm very excited to make this. I'm not sure which yarns. I have to go yarn diving, stash diving. Um, I think it, it, it calls for fingering weight yarns and Claudia told me that it is um, very easily adjustable to become narrower, wider, longer, shorter, whatever you want. So that is a good thing. And I think, though I know how to crochet very basic stitches, I glanced through the pattern and I think that even at my modest level, I think I can do it. I think it's no problem. So thank you, Claudia of Crochet Luna. And you guys check out the pattern. And for those of you who want to start crocheting and incorporate crochet into your um, fiber repertoire, then I think this Encanto shawl pattern is really a good uh, a good place to start. So I'm looking forward to that. And I think you guys, I think that's going to be it for today. So happy Thanksgiving, happy knitting, happy crocheting, happy weaving, spinning, just happy, happy, happy. So happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Have a great weekend, and I will see you next time around. Bye.